Good wishes, dear children. How are you all? I hope you all are well and good at your places and enjoying your learning sessions with Meena Meet Kaur, your mathematics teacher. So, what are you looking at? Hmm? Oh, oh, I forgot to remove my mask. Hmm, let me do that. Okay, so here I am. You are still looking at my mask. Why so? You like its color, okay, and design, hmm, nice, yes, even I like it. Yes, dear children, one design is selected and that design is repeated on a specific interval and that is called a pattern and everything that we are wearing, our bed sheets, our pillow covers, our curtains, everywhere you see a design, it is some pattern. So let's talk of patterns today. So what do you see? Yes, how does this design look like? Hmm, let us try to draw it. Good idea? Hmm, let's see what is it? A flower, again the same size flower, repeated, 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 repeated. Let's see. So let's draw it. Hmm, what do we see? We see a flower like this. And there is a bead in the center of this flower and there are two holes like this. Now this is the basic design, right? Here you can see this is the basic design and this design has been repeated again and again. So, what we will do is, we'll make the same flower again. Again, these holes. And in the center, there is a bead. We'll again try to do the same. Though it is tough without tracing that you make the design exactly the same. But I am just trying to make you understand how the patterns are made. In this way, the same flower will be repeated, 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 repeated. And repeating the same design would make a pattern like this. So children, where all do you see these patterns? Hmm, yes, some patterns are there on my dress and some patterns are there on your dresses also. Look at yourselves. So everyone is observing? Hmm, patterns and patterns everywhere. Just look, look at these curtains. Hmm, patterns. Look at this bed sheet. Yes, patterns, patterns, patterns everywhere. Patterns. Here and there I see patterns. Here and there I see. Everywhere I see patterns. Everywhere I see. So let's talk of these patterns today. So children, the way I told you that this design is repeated in a sequence and that is called pattern. Similarly, we will look at some sequences and we will try to complete those. That means we'll have this design and then we'll have to repeat it in the same sequence that has been given to us. Let's see how to do that. So can you observe this sequence? We have to repeat the same sequence ahead. So let's see, what do you observe? Yes, you are right. This is English alphabet T, right? What does this look like? Yes, it looks as if the T has been turned upside down. It's a, something like topsy-turvy land. Like this, the T's direction is in the correct way like this and then 
it turns upside down like this up down up down it's a topsy turvy land so dear children let's try to understand how this tea has been turned upside down and then again in its original position again upside down again yes it will be in its original position let's draw this now it will be yes upside down okay again complete the sequence yes in its original shape and upside down see we have repeated the design in a sequential manner and we have obtained a pattern a beautiful pattern so what sequence do you observe now yes one one okay and this looks like zero okay again this looks like one one standing lines two standing lines are there one here and the second one is here again one here and the second one is here and between these two there's a circle it looks like zero now here again we have a circle after these two lines again these two standing lines so what do you think the sequence will move ahead how yes we have to repeat the circle now okay well said i have drawn the circle what should i do now okay yes we can make these standing lines here and correct the circle and correct standing lines so we can keep on completing the sequence like this see this is such a fun activity again we have to extend the sequence so what do you see yes arrow upward arrow downward arrow upward arrow downward upward downward upward downward so let's follow this rule and extend this sequence yeah since it is downward here so it's the turn for yes arrow upward okay and now is the turn for yes arrow downward and very good my dear children upward and arrow downward very nice extend okay arrow upward and arrow downward well done dear children clapping for you well done you have understood the patterns we shall overcome we shall overcome we we Hey, can you see? There's a pattern between my hands. What have I made? V. I have made V. Can you see? What if I turn it upside down? The topsy turvy land way. Yes, it is a V, but in a downward direction now. Upward, downward, upward, downward. You can play this. Let's draw this and extend its sequence. So what do you see? V upward, V downward. Again, upward, again, downward. So how will you extend this sequence? After the downward V, what will you do? Yes, you'll make it upward. Let's try it. upward v well done and very well done the downward v what should i make again yes the upward v and downward v 
upward v and downward v so we can keep on extending the sequence so you must have observed these kinds of patterns on the borders of things around you now that you are familiar with patterns look here and extend this pattern yourself what do you see yes two circles and what is this yes it is a rectangle very well identified okay so here are two circles again and the same rectangle so extend the pattern okay good you will be drawing two circles here and then okay rectangle and okay two circles again and the rectangle and this way your pattern has been extended beautifully okay dear children now i am feeling really hungry i want to eat my favorite mango so can you name your favorite fruit apple okay let's put my mango and your apple together hmm and make a sequence out of it mango apple again so the sequence here is mango apple mango apple how will you extend the sequence yes you'll draw another mango and another apple and another mango and another apple wonderful my dear children you have extended this pattern beautifully okay what do you see here on the screen now yes well identified it is the english alphabet w what do you see next yes it is like the w alphabet has been turned upside down it looks like m of english alphabets so the pattern becomes w m w m okay so you have identified the sequence how will you extend it yes you will repeat it w m w m beautifully done well done dear children so what will come next in the sequence yes the bowl will be placed upside down and then again in the correct manner again upside down and this sequence is complete now you see there is a water drop and in the next box there is a lollipop turned upside down a drop again and the lollipop turned upside down again so what will happen next yes yes the drop comes and yes the upside down lollipop and the drop again and the sequence is complete congratulations look here now yes it is a beautiful flower and what else do you see yes it is a leaf a flower a leaf so how will you complete the sequence what will come next yes the flower the leaf the flower and the sequence is complete well done look here at this face an astonished face and a happy face again an astonished face and a happy face so complete the pattern yes astonished face and a happy face and an astonished face again the pattern is complete i'm really happy you all are doing very well so dear children look here what do you see yes in a circle there's a square and next yes there's a square and inside it there's a circle again square inside the circle and again circle inside the square so how are you going to complete this pattern hmm 
you are going to make a circle and inside it you are going to make a square and next yes you are going to make the square now and inside it you are going to put the circle and now yes a square in the circle and the pattern is complete congratulations dear children so what next now you have to fill in the boxes in sequence so you have to complete the sequence look here two leaves are there and a flower then two leaves so what will come here it's a blank box for you again they have put the leaves and the flower and again you have to guess what comes and in the end there is the flower so what do you say yes you are right flower will come here and the sequence would be leaf flower leaves and flower again leaves and flower again and in this box leaves again wonderful look at this beautiful sequence now it is ready what next yes you can see a circle then a triangle and a rectangle well identified shapes then this pattern has been repeated the circle the triangle what is not there is yes a rectangle let's draw the rectangle here what's next yes the circle is already there and there's something missing and then the rectangle is already there so what are you going to put here yes a triangle well done dear children okay now look here these are coins yes in the first box we have one coin of rupee 1 then in the second box we have two coins of rupee 1 In the third box we have three coins of rupee 1 and then in the fourth box there is no coin so what will be there yes four coins of rupee 1 now in the next box you can see five coins of rupee 1 so what will come in the next box yes correct Six coins of rupee one. Okay, dear children, look here. There are two standing candles now and two sleeping candles also. What comes next in the next box? Three standing candles and three sleeping candles. So what will come next? Yes, four standing candles and four sleeping candles as well. And what comes next? exactly the number is increasing by 1 so now it will be five standing candles and five sleeping candles well done my dear children now what do you see here children study the pattern and fill the missing numbers yeah this is a wonderful activity what colorful flags are these and the numbers written on them are 1 3 5 7 then two flags are empty they don't have the numbers and in the end the last flag has number 13 so what sequence do you find 1 3 5 7 what should come next yes the sequence is of odd numbers and we are going to write 9 and 11 in these flags respectively and the pattern completes as 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 12 well and dear children look at this crawling caterpillar look at the numbers written on its body so the numbers are 22 21 20 can you observe the sequence yes it is countdown in decreasing order So you have two empty spaces and then 17 and 16 what are you going to fill in between Yes let's write 19 and 18 and let's check out if the pattern or the sequence is complete now Yes it is 22 21 20 19 18 17 16 
back counting. Good. Hey dear children, the train has arrived. Look at the numbers written on its chambers. On the engine, it is written 10 and then the chambers have the number 20, 30. Then there's a missing number and 50 and then the number is missing again. So identify the pattern. Yes, you're right. The difference of 10 is found. So let's try to complete this sequence. 10, 20, 30. What comes next? 40. Well done. 50. And what comes next? 60. Well done, dear children. The train is ready to go ahead. So let's say bye bye to the train. Bye bye, train. Hey dear children, when I was going through the garden, I saw these stones. Look at the numbers written on these stones. 11, 22, 33 and then two stones do not have the numbers written on them. Then the next stone has 66 and the last stone also doesn't have the number. Let's try to guess what comes next. 11, 22, 33. Yes, it's the difference of 11 numbers in between. So, what comes next? 44. Well guessed. What comes next? 55. Okay, good. Correct. And then, in the last stone, what are you going to write? 77. Well done, dear children. Let's see how the pattern is complete now. Yes, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66 and 77. It's all done. Hmm, now I want to play with balloons. See, I have blue and pink balloons here and there are numbers written on my balloons. 5, 10. Oh my God, I forgot what to write on this balloon. 20, 25 on the next balloons and then this balloon in the end also has no number can you help me okay let's write something on this blue balloon what number should i write 5 10 after this yes 15 so let's write 15 here 20 25 and in the end i should write correct 30 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Well done, dear children. Hmm. Now I feel like appreciating the nature. Let's see these flowers. And let's try to understand the sequence of numbers written on them. 2, 5, 8, 11. Then there's no number 17 and then there's the number. So, what pattern do you see? Yes, after 2, 3 and 4, 2 digits are missing. Then after 5, 6 and 7, 2 digits are missing. Again after 8, 2 digits are missing. Again after 11, we'll jump out. Two numbers will miss out two numbers and write the next number here. So after 11, 12 and 13 are left behind and we are going to write 14 here. Well done. Okay, so after that 15 and 16 are left behind and 17 is already written. So you tell me what I'm going to write in the last flower. Yes, 18 and 19 will be missed. So, what are we going to write? 20. Well done, dear children. So, this is at the interval of two missing numbers. Well done, dear children. Now, you have to complete this pattern. Three flowers, four flowers, five flowers. So, next comes? Yes, six flowers and seven flowers. Well done, dear children. Now, you have to practice much more than this. Look at these stars. Five stars, four stars, three stars. 
identify the sequence yes it is in decreasing order so next comes two stars and then one star well done dear children so complete the pattern what do you see yes there are some leaves and there are some numbers written on these leaves let's read them two four six eight so complete the pattern 10 good 12 well done 14 well done dear children look at these buckets now 27 28 29 identify the pattern what comes next yes 30 31 32 33 the numbers written on the ducklings 25 30 what should be next yes 35 what should be next 40 which is already written so what should be next 45 well done what should be next 50 okay and next 55 well done look at these houses now and the numbers written on these houses 1 4 7 what should be the next number 10 well done and the next one 13 well done and then 16 and then 19 well done dear children look at these money bags now 15 number 13 number 11 number so what will be the next number yes 9 number then 7 number then Okay, five number and then, okay, three number. Well done, dear children. You are really good in identifying the patterns now. What do you see on the screen now? Yes, yummy, yummy tomatoes, red, red tomatoes. Look at the numbers written on these tomatoes. Ten. Then there is no number on this tomato and then the next tomato has thirty. Again, a black tomato and then 50 number written on the next one and then the black tomato again. So, let's complete this pattern. What are you going to write on the second tomato which has no number on it? Yes, 20. So, this will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Well done dear children, you have completed the sequence of the pattern. Hey, so you are here? What am I doing? I am making my own patterns. Look here, lotus rose, lotus rose. So in this way, I am going to make a lot of patterns of my own. And I hope that you are also ready to do all this wonderful activity. So, why not we say bye-bye for now. So, why not you all draw your own patterns and complete these sequences wherever you see. Start observing in and around your surrounding. You can see millions of patterns around you. A long tree, a short tree, a shrub. A long tree, a short tree, a shrub. So, what else? Yes! Two sparrows and a crow, two sparrows and a crow. Yay! So patterns are patterns are everywhere in the sky with the stars. Everywhere, everywhere in and around you are patterns. Start observing them and make your own patterns in your notebooks. So for this, I would like to let you go now so that you can do a lot of hands-on practice. So dear children, bye-bye for now. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.